the 2018 Volkswagen Golf Outrack is the latest in a long line of golf variants, including the Golf Variant Wagon in Europe. It's basically a golf sport wagon with a 4-motion all-wheel drive system with a slide suspension lift and some plastic cladding. Think Subaru Outback or Audi Al Road. It's a handsome little hatch that, like the Outback or Al Road, needs the new crossover craze somewhere in the middle. Our model is the top grade cell trim. It's powered by a 1.8-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder. Power is sent to all four wheels through a six-speed dual-clutch transmission. A manual is available on the S and same models. The cell comes with features like LED lighting, a panoramic sunroof, dual-zone automatic climate control, adaptive cruise control and keyless entry. It also comes with Volkswagen solid 6-year-72,000 mile warranty. All in, this VW Outrack costs $36,510. Editor-in-Chief Greg Migliori, I could totally see a professor rolling around in this Golf Outrack. The slightly lifted wagon seems like the perfect vibe for someone who ponders keats then heads for the slopes. This one is pretty handsome, done up in forest green with 18-inch alloy wheels. The 1.8-liter 4-cylinder is about right, and sport mode actually offers some jump. Steering is light, but I still felt reasonably connected in the way we've come to expect from golfs. There's a decent amount of room in the cargo area, though I'd remove the cover for most hauling exercises. The 4-motion all-wheel drive as a standard feature makes this thing flirt with Audi territory. The silhouette is a little awkward, the design seems a touch hunched over, but otherwise I really like this thing. Senior Editor, Green, John Belt Snyder, I drove the Altrack home in the rain, and found it to be perfectly comfortable and capable, never leaving me without grip or a sense of confidence. To me it almost felt like more like I was driving an Audi than a VW Golf. I like the clean, structured design and the thoughtful use of materials in the places that count. I also found the car to feel pretty well equipped with technology, but I also found that technology very easy to use, with clear displays and good response. Unlike some others, I didn't have any problem with the Bluetooth. A common gripe I hear in the office is that the steering feels a little vague. While I tend to agree that it feels very electronic, and doesn't offer much in the way of feedback, it didn't bother me one bit. I still had fun pointing this down curvy, wet country roads. I especially liked the feel of the actual steering wheel in my hands. It felt kind of thin, and reminded me of a lot of older cars that I've enjoyed tossing around on winding roads. Associate Editor Joel Stockstill, I was quite pleased when I saw that the Golf Outrack that arrived at our office was in my favorite color scheme, Great Falls Green Metallic with a brown leather at interior. Besides being a handsome combination on its own, it triggers a bit of nostalgia for me, a kid growing up in the late 90s and zeros and seeing green explorers and outbacks everywhere. Nostalgia aside, I was also pleased at how the Outrack, like every other Golf, does everything really darn well. The turbo 1.8 liter engine feels plenty peppy, a feeling emphasized by how the little turbo spools up nearly immediately. There's even a little bit of growl, and it feels like it pulls well throughout the rev range. In this version, it was coupled to VW's dual clutch automatic. The transmission works quite well, delivering smooth, expedient shifts that make it fun even in manual mode. It does feel a little funny from a stop, though. As the computer works the clutches, it feels like it's slipping them longer than if I were driving a normal manual. Speaking of which, it makes me happy that VW still offers a manual on these less powerful Golfs, even with all-wheel drive and the Outrack. The ride and handling are very good, too, especially in the metro Detroit area. The car is soft and compliant over most bumps, but it still turns in smartly without too much body roll. The steering is a bit fuzzy, it's hard to tell precisely where the front wheels are pointing, but weight is good and resistance builds up naturally. Honestly, there's not anything to truly complain about. The car is a little conservative looking inside and out, but that's about all I can really think of. Golfs are just really good cars. Associate Editor Reese counts, my biggest issue with the Golf Outrack is the Golf Sports Wagon that sits right next to it in dealer lots. For a few grand less, you can still get all-wheel drive and ditch the plastic cladding, though I'm not totally against the latter. That said, the Outrack is still a comfortable and handsome sedan that looks and feels far more premium than its price would suggest. I'm a big fan of the Outrack's powertrain. The 1.8-liter turbocharged inline 4 feels punchy and smooth thanks its 199 pound-feet of torque. The 6-speed dual-clutch transmission is equally smooth and quick, though I would personally opt for the 6-speed manual that's available on the lower two trims. The all-wheel drive system is a fine feature for those who need the extra traction. My complaints are minor. I like the interior design. I think the materials are as good or better than anything in the class. I just wish packaging was better. Compared to competitors like the Honda Civic or Hyundai Elantra, the Golf, from the base model up to the Golf R, is missing something when it comes to storage space. There are fewer cubbies than I would like, and the small pocket in front of the shifter isn't large enough to fit my phone and sunglasses.